little metal detecting adventure today hopefully the weather will hold it's supposed to start raining really hard this afternoon i am in a uh, subdivision that kind of went belly up when the economy went ah bad i thought i just stepped i thought i stepped on a uh, a nest of eggs but it's just a bone i don't think it's human but let's look I saw those two little white things there i thought that was a, like a little killdeer nest or something but anyway i am in a subdivision you can see how they have uh, built roads in here and there's some pipe it's all torn up and right in this area here was an old house a big brick pre-civil war home that actually one of my a friend of my mother's owned so i did metal detect this long 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 time ago i didn't find anything so i've never come back but i decided i'd check it out today one clue that there was a house here of course you've probably already seen it is that there's actually flowers you can see the flowers off in the distance we're gonna go look at those i don't really see much in the way of like the sign of the foundation uh or any bricks or anything there's some uh flowers there i can't remember what those are called uh, naked ladies i think but i could be wrong let's go look at these it stood right in here somewhere i'm not exa i don't exactly remember where but uh we're gonna go ahead and metal detect and see what we can find it's a little bit of a square here but see the dirt's been all pushed up you can see that mound right there that's all been pushed up all around here a lot of flowers right here so this might be close to the house i haven't really seen anything though no nope, i guess the house is completely gone I don't really remember exactly where it was. I know it was right up in here, but it's gotta be close to these flowers. The fact that there's big rocks there makes me hopeful that they didn't completely take all the dirt away. Um, so, and the flowers, of course, the bulbs are there. So we know that that's the natural level there uh, of the old gardens or, you know, decorations they had around it. Don't see any signs of any, ah, oh, there's a brick. Speak of the devil. Okay, so we got our bricks. It was a great big brick house made out of thousands of those so we're in the right spot and i don't see any old dig holes from you know people when they put the subdivision in but that was 20 years ago so they'd be gone by now all right what do you think give it a quick shot i don't know like i said i didn't find anything the first time but well ain't the same boy i was back then let's get to it today we're searching with the garrett at max i'm gonna go ahead and um hunt without the headphones for a little bit so you guys can listen to what I'm hearing, maximum sensitivity, iron discrimination on zero. For superstition, superstition, superstition's sake, I'm gonna bump that up to three. No headphones. So let's hear what's in the ground here. Should be lots of nails, I'm hoping. Yeah, lots of iron. Big piece of iron there. So yeah, let's dig some of this stuff. That's probably a foundation stone right there. Yeah, that's good. See, I. If that's buried even a little bit, that tells me that people haven't dug here since the house was pushed over. Well, it's not buried, so. That is a piece of uh, copper or something. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see if we can find something that's actually not been dug recently. And another thing there. I'm not super hopeful because, well, you never know. All right, got a little bit of a squeak. Could be iron, but... I think someone should have dug that, although it is reading iron. We'll come back to it. Let's go down here for a minute. Big signal there. That could be iron. Big sheet of iron. All right, so now you know what this house site sounds like. I'm going to throw my headphones on. I'm going to give it a good uh, five or ten minutes. We'll look at what we find, if I'm actually finding things. We'll make a video if not i guess i just wasted my time because you'll probably never see it so all right give me five minutes i wanted to show you real quick this is the first signal i heard that was kind of big sounded irony um but yeah i'm in a really good layer of stuff i mean the irony thing was irony but check it out this is what i was hearing which is like some type of i guess it was a flattened can or something you can see there's a seam right here i think it, i thought there was a seam um, chunks of that but look at all the stuff in here bricks and this is window glass a flat window glass and uh just lots of stuff so um yeah maybe they burn the house 
I don't know if they did it or not. When I was here when I was a kid, it was a beautiful brick house still standing. So they might have burned it before they buried it. Yeah, okay, man, let's do it. We'll be careful with that glass, though. So I've been at it probably, oh, 30 minutes or so, and I really haven't found much. Um, the few things that had a good signal were actually right on the top. Like maybe someone's been digging here before me. And, you know, that probably happened when they first pushed the subdivision, you know, first pushed everything over and got it ready to develop. So, I mean, I wouldn't doubt that. I just took a couple things I want to show you. And there's one thing over there I want to show you. First things first, I uh, just dug this. Uh, I think it's zinc. Could be pewter, but it looks like maybe some type of awl. You know, used to uh, punch holes in leather or whatever. And that little round thing gave kind of a good signal too. But I wanted to show you this. You remember in the beginning of the video how I jumped like a crazy loon? That's why. Because there are eggs out here. <laughs> That's actually an egg that was probably just laid not in a nest, but sometimes they are in nests. There's some bones. No doubt they're not human, but you never know. Could be an old graveyard right here, you know. Is it? Is that human? <laughs> I'd never know unless I find like a human skull. That's the only way I'd ever know. I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Unfortunately, I'm not really dressed for this site because I was going somewhere else. But I remembered it when I uh, drove by, so. <sighs> All right, I'll shut up now. You see the flowers over there, that's where we're just digging. But as I'm working my way up through the bushes, there's a lot more flowers up here. Maybe the house actually sat up here higher. That could be a barn where we're digging. There were bricks there though, and they didn't usually have a lot of, well, it could have been a brick barn. I don't remember what kind of barn was here. Or this could just be where they pushed everything up too. Let's take a quick look at it. Wow, look at them all. That's so sad to think that, uh, you know, somebody planted these and now the house is gone. Everything is gone except for the flowers. And they'll be gone soon too because they'll put a uh, subdivision in here. Big houses on quarter acre lots. Yeah, this could just be where they push the dirt. Looks like somebody's been working up here not too long ago. I don't think anybody had been up here in a long time. All right. <sighs> We'll look around this rock break a little bit because that looks natural and then we'll um, we'll keep looking around There's some white flowers over there let's go look at those real quick since we're here i don't remember a cemetery on this property but it's been so long that uh, that's not surprising <laughs> i can't remember what i ate for breakfast half the time it's kind of weird those are off by themselves though I doubt there's a cemetery, but you never know. Most, a lot of these old houses had them. One little set of flowers, that's all. Some scratchings in the woods where they came through for some reason on a, what's that big thing there? Looks like, is that a manhole lid? That's weird, isn't it? No idea on that thing. God, that thing's huge. Looks like a really, really old manhole lid. Um, there's some brick up here though. Look at that. It's pieces of brick, some trash, some brick there. All right, what I'm going to do is start digging up here. Yeah, there's brick everywhere in uh, pots and pottery and uh, work our way back toward where we just came because this might be, you know, they probably scattered the dirt everywhere in here. But there's some pottery here at least. All right, let's get to it. So I'm still kind of wandering around and I'm just amazed at how big this site is because there's iron and stuff everywhere. I haven't found anything really good, but there's a giant hole here that attracted my attention. And I'm trying to figure out what this is all about. There's some iron there. Is that a musket barrel? <laughs> it looks like it doesn't for a piece of pipe. So I don't know if the developer dug this and buried some stuff or what, but there's lots of bricks. That looks like a concrete pillar though. This could have been an ice house or a cistern. Yeah, look at all the bricks. Like I said, this is a beautiful old pre-Civil War home, pre-Civil War era. All right, um, I don't even know where to start. Right here where I'm standing. Let me go grab my stuff. I'll get back to it. Big thunderstorms coming in early afternoon, so we're going to have to watch out for them. When I hear the rumble, we're splitting. Hopefully, we'll find some stuff before then, though. Well, speak of the devil, it's starting to get dark over there. That's kind of like towards the east, but I don't know what direction these storms are coming from. 
but if that comes our way we're not going to have a long hunt today unfortunately still finding stuff i don't think i showed you any of this i don't know if that's part of like a cooking vessel or just a pipe but i mean this stuff was buried it's good uh, copper uh you know brassy stuff so good signals on those so there could be anything in here but i'm a little bit worried about the darkness on the horizon um hmm We'll keep at it until the first one or two bangs of thunder and then we're going to skedaddle because we got about a mile hike out of here. Well, if you can imagine that, I kind of dilly-dallied at the home site. And I kind of got the bones around here and I wasn't paying attention. Look at that. Some kind of critter there dead. There's another one up in front of me. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I dilly-dallied and um, the cloud bank off to our east, well, it was moving our direction, so no thunder, thankfully, but I didn't hear it coming. I wasn't paying attention. Looked around the home site a while longer, found a bunch of junk, nothing good, and I'm going to get soaking wet because i got a mile to go before I am back at the vehicle. I'm just glad it's no thunder and lightning. We'll see you on the next one. We're not going to be able to get back to this place this year either. That guy, grass is going to be gonna be knee high in a couple, probably within a week it'll be knee high. And I just can't get back here within a week. So maybe next, <laughs> next spring. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. I hope. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand.